my name is Melissa Miller, and this is my audition tape for Vancouver Film School. Um, I, my two monologues that I chose were from Game of Thrones and 30 Rock. The first one from Game of Thrones is Queen Cersei's monologue to Sansa in the second season. And the reason I chose it is because Queen Cersei is a crazy character. She's very manipulative and dark and kind of a seedy person. And she puts up a huge front, so nobody really knows what's going on with her unless you're in her inner circle. And in this episode and this particular monologue, she's drinking a little bit and things are getting really crazy outside the castle. It's being sieged. So she kind of opens up and just gets very real with Sansa about what could happen. And I thought that was really awesome. Uh, the second monologue I, I chose was Tina Fey's character in 30 Rock talking to Alec Baldwin in an elevator. Uh, it's really silly. It's just about her justifying herself to him for dating this awful man that she's seeing. I've been doing theater since I was about six, so it's been a while. Um, it's something I love. I've always been in love with acting and, you know, I started doing independent film about a year and a half ago and I've learned a lot and I look forward to continuing to learn. And I can't really say that one individual person inspired me to act. I do look up to a lot of people in the industry. However, I would say the initial spark was from probably my own enormous imagination. I always loved to pretend as a child and it's something I still, you know, love to do, clearly. Uh, I think that it's really awesome to be able to put yourself into different characters' shoes and different time periods that you weren't alive for and, you know, just getting to live through the eyes of someone else. Um, that's something I'm never going to stop loving. Um, I would say as far as strengths and weaknesses, one weakness is that I live in Pennsylvania. It's really hard for me to get to New York and such for auditions. I would like to get some really good training and continue on my path. I would say a strength is that I have a lot of drive. I really am willing to do pretty much whatever it takes to achieve my goals, and I believe that going to Vancouver Film School would really help me with that. Um, if I couldn't act as a career, I would probably still try to find something in the industry because, like I said, I love film. It's one of my favorite things in the entire planet. There's nothing better than going to the movie theater and sitting there and just being like, wow. Um, I would probably try to find something in costuming or, you know, just something that will put me somewhere near the thing that I love. So... That's a little bit about me. I hope you enjoy the audition, and hopefully I will be hearing from you soon. Sansa, come here, little girl. What are you doing? Gosh, you're perfect, aren't you? Praying. What are you praying? Mercy. Mercy? On all of us? Even me? Even Joffrey? Shut up, you little fool. The gods have no mercy, that's why they're gods. My father told me that when he caught me praying just lost my mother, you see, and I didn't quite grasp the concept of death, the finality of it. I thought that, if I prayed very, very hard, the gods would return my mother to me. I was a fool. Sit. Drink. Not like that, girl. Drink! I should have been born a man. I'd rather face a thousand swords than be shut up with this flock of frightened hens. I asked them here because it was expected of me, as it will be of you if you become Joffrey's queen. If my wretched brother should somehow prevail, these hens will go back to their cocks and crow of how my courage inspired them, lifted their spirits.
if the city should fall. Well, you'd like that, wouldn't you? The Red Keep should hold for a time, long enough for me to go and yield to Lord Stannis in person. If there were anyone else outside those walls, I might request a private audience, but this is Lord Stannis Baratheon. I'd stand a better chance of seducing his horse. <laughs> I'm shocked, you little dog. Tears aren't a woman's only defense. The best ones between your legs. Just say it. Just say what you're dying to say. Dennis is nice to me, okay? He fixed my toilet! He broke it first, but he fixed it! And he loves hockey, and I'm so close to figuring it out. And, and it's easy, I can get so much work done! I don't have time for personal life, I can't just go down to Central Park and join the Single Touch Football League. Like I'd want to anyway, because of those people and the posters always laughing in their sweaters. Billy, you're not gonna say anything? Just because I rejected you as a mentor? Whatever. I have plenty of friends that I can talk to about my life. The bottom line is that Dennis is my boyfriend because he inquired, okay? He was the only applicant. And I am not planning on being single forever. You suck at giving advice.